This is the first page of the Internet Movie Logline Creator. I initially developed this to develop log lines for query letters that I could pitch to producers. I wanted to have a simple, easy to use tool that I wouldn't have to remember all this stuff about what's supposed to be in a log line. I could just fill in the blanks and that would be my starting point. There are two reasons to use the Internet Movie Logline Creator. One is to develop a log line for a screenplay that already exists, which you want to pitch to somebody. The second would be to develop ideas for new screenplays that you want to write. A log line tells a producer a number of things. First, it tells them who the main character is, which lets them thinking about how they can cast that role. The second thing it tells them is the scale of the production. This has to do with whether it's sent in the present, the past, or the future, whether there's costumes involved, how many different locations there are going to be. These things, in turn, affect the budget and give them an idea of whether or not they're going to be able to handle that type of film. All this is just in the first part of the log line. The third thing that they look at is whether the story is going to grip an audience and carry them through the two hours some odd that they're going to be sitting in their seats. There are basically three questions that will create your log line and satisfy the producer's objectives as well. The first is, who is your main character and what do they want? It may be helpful to think of this as a caricature of your main character because you're never going to include all their attributes in just a few words. You, this will give you the key features to tell people what kind of person they are and by talking about their basic desires, you give people some insight into what they're about. The second question has to do with what crisis your main character is facing. It has to be something big. It has to be something that challenges them, that really changes their life in some way. The example I use from E.T. the Extraterrestrial, a young suburban boy discovers an alien living in his shed. That's something for which you can't prepare. You're using all your resources because he makes friends with the alien. He doesn't want the government to pick him apart the way that he was forced to dissect frogs at school. He has to keep it a secret from the adults and at the same time try to help E.T. get back to his home planet. These are the objectives that generate the story itself and they relate back to the first question in terms of what your main character wants. His basic desire was to be noticed, to be important, and helping the alien gives him a very important goal with high stakes. The next thing to think about is your theme. What is the movie about? You say to somebody, oh, I'm writing a movie. Oh, what's it about? It's about justice. It's about betrayal. It's about love. It's about corruption don't need a long-winded description that takes into account every nuance of the story. You just need something that gives people an impression of what the film's about. If you can't think of anything, one way I do it is just to close my eyes and blurt something out to see if that inspires you, and then you can always change it later. Once you have your theme and your log line, you should be able to generate a working title that will sell it to an audience. Once you have your title and your theme, you have to think about what type of movie it is. Is it an action movie, a horror movie, a love story, coming of age? Just saying those few words give people a general idea of the type of movie that they're going to watch. A subgenre gives you the opportunity to refine that a little bit. It could be a horror comedy, romantic historical. Next, you want to think about what kind of rating it would have. Is there nudity? Are there sexual situations? Is there going to be violence? You're not going to generally include this in a query letter, but it adds a little flavor and gives you a better understanding of the script you're going to write. At the bottom of the page is a button called Show Me My Logline. Once you click this, you'll get a summary of the information that you've put into this page. Cut and paste it into your word processor where you can work on it further. In the next video, we'll talk about the Synopsis Engine, which helps you generate an outline of your story based on the logline that you've written.